Chat GPT. It's Chat GPT. Uh, it Just how artificial intelligence language and language 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 can have unintended consequences. What if we could change the way we train large language models and smaller models used in various devices? That's exactly what Microsoft Research is promising with its new research paper, Orca. So, is Orca a game changer? Let's find out. Orca is a breakthrough that offers a solution to a common issue with building smaller language models. The problem is that these smaller models often imitate the style of larger models, but fail to grasp their reasoning process. This is where Orca stands out. Orca, Microsoft Research's innovative language model, takes a unique approach by learning the intricate reasoning processes of larger models rather than merely mimicking them. It astoundingly outperforms Vicuna, another 13 billion parameter model, and goes even further to outshine larger models like ChatGPT and Google's BERT, despite operating with far fewer parameters. This underscores Orca's efficiency and effectiveness in the realm of large language models. Its impressive performance in comparison tests signals a promising future in AI, challenging larger models with billions of parameters, like ChatGPT's 175 billion, using just a fraction of that. Microsoft Research's new language model, Orca, is shaking up the AI world with its remarkable performance. Despite the fact that Vicuna, an open-source language model fine-tuned for chatbots, is often seen as a big deal, Orca has managed to outshine it. It's particularly impressive because Vicuna was developed from the Llama model with data provided by shared GPT users and further improved by Meta, showcasing Orca's potential to be a real game-changer. In the realm of language models, you might be more familiar with terms like ChatGPT or GPT-4, but that's precisely where Orca, the new brainchild of Microsoft Research, manages to make a huge splash. Orca not only matches the performance of these well-known models, but it actually surpasses them in various tests, making it a standout innovation in the field. Interestingly, the name Orca was chosen for Microsoft Research's language model because Orcas are known for their intelligence, social behavior, and hunting prowess. These qualities are also desired in language models, which are expected to be able to understand and respond to complex language, collaborate with humans, and generate creative content. The most interesting aspect of Orca is its ability to perform exceptionally in zero-shot settings. If you're not familiar with this term, a zero-shot setting is an environment where a language model is tested on new tasks or scenarios without any prior exposure or specific examples. Orca's stellar performance in such settings suggests its potential for even greater effectiveness than previously imagined. One of the things that sets Orca apart is its impressive performance on professional and academic exams, such as the SAT and LSAT, making it a potent tool for these high-stakes contexts. Surprisingly, its performance is quite comparable to the earlier version of ChatGPT, known as Text DaVinci 03, even without the additional fine-tuning seen in later iterations of ChatGPT. What really caught our eye is how Orca compares with Vicuna. Despite having the same number of parameters, Orca manages a 40% increase in effectiveness, underscoring its exceptional performance. Given all these factors, Orca has truly set a new bar in the field of large language models, promising exciting developments for the future. Part of the secret behind Orca's success lies in its training. Orca was trained on a massive dataset of text and code, including books, articles, code repositories, and web pages. This dataset was carefully curated to ensure that it was representative of the real world and that it contained a variety of different topics and styles. The size and diversity of the training dataset is one of the reasons why Orca is able to perform so well on a variety of tasks. Microsoft's Orca, being seven times smaller yet as effective as some larger language models, is an exciting development. The reason this is so groundbreaking is that it could make AI technology more lightweight and easier to integrate into various devices. Imagine the potential applications if we could implement these highly capable, more compact models into devices like our phones or laptops, making them significantly more effective. If you recall Google's recent announcement, they are planning to make some of their large language models even available offline. This is an extraordinary feat as most large language models like ChatGPT 
currently operate through a network of servers, likely housed in a data farm somewhere. Now, Google is creating four different sizes of language models, from smallest to largest, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn, all under the umbrella of Palm 2. Remarkably, the smallest model, Gecko, is light enough to operate on mobile devices, even when offline. Gecko is so lightweight that it can work on mobile devices, fast enough for great interactive applications on device, even when offline. Enabling interactive applications to function with impressive speed. Let's consider the implications of this new framework for training large language models. If they can become more effective, even the smaller ones integrated into everyday devices like our phones and laptops could become seven to eight times more potent. Large language models' key limitation is their size. For instance, even GPT-4 has one trillion parameters. This is why Orca's development is so exciting. People are already running the 13 billion parameter large language model, Lamar, offline on their laptops. If Orca becomes available for offline use, the opportunities it could open up are significant. Furthermore, consider the potential applications in the field of robotics. OpenAI is currently working on a humanoid robot with 1x robotics. Imagine if these robots could host smaller large language models within their systems, negating the need for cloud-based servers for processing and generating responses. The idea of such instant response capabilities in a robot is genuinely mind-boggling. We're entering a new era of artificial intelligence with these developments, where advanced AI capabilities could become more commonplace and accessible than ever before. The future of language models like Microsoft's Orca or OpenAI's ChatGPT is a fascinating one, especially when you consider their potential integration into everyday tech. Just imagine having an AI as sophisticated as ChatGPT on your phone without needing internet access. The convenience and possibilities it would offer are enormous. The Orca paper further highlights this potential by showcasing complex zero-shot reasoning tasks. In the Big Bench hard test, Orca outperformed even ChatGPT with a score of 49.7 accuracy. This result is a testament to Orca's ability to understand and tackle new tasks, even without prior exposure to them, making it a highly adaptable and intelligent model. The paper also reveals the training methodology used for Orca, detailing 16 system messages that were crucial in training the model. These prompts serve as instructions for the AI, guiding it to provide detailed and extensive responses to user queries. For example, you are an AI assistant. Provide a detailed answer so the user doesn't need to search outside to understand the answer. Interestingly, these system messages are not just beneficial for training AI. They can also be a useful tool for individuals trying to grasp complex concepts. By framing questions as if you were instructing an AI, you can break down the complexity and find a more straightforward path to understanding. One technique, known as Explain Like I'm 5 Inches, ELI 5, was employed during the training of Orca and earlier models like ChatGPT and DaVinci 003. This technique was first noted in a research paper published in May 2022. It found that prefacing each question with Let's Think Step by Step significantly improved the AI's performance on complex reasoning tasks, including arithmetic and logic, by 10 to 40 percent. But it's essential to note that even with these impressive advancements, AI models are not without their limitations. While we're often awed by their capabilities upon release, we should also acknowledge their boundaries. Understanding these limitations is vital for realistic expectations and future improvements in the field. As we continue to train and refine these models, we're inching closer to a future where AI becomes an integral part of our everyday lives. Astonishingly, despite their prowess, AI models like GPT-3, GPT-4, ChatGPT, and even the new Orca show some surprising gaps in understanding. This becomes evident when they struggle to solve straightforward, common-sense problems, often overcomplicating simple concepts or failing to comprehend them at all. Take, for instance, a simple question like, if it takes five hours to dry five clothes in the sun, how long would it take to dry 30 clothes? Rather than giving the straightforward answer, these models tend to dive into complex mathematical calculations, showing that they can sometimes miss the simplest solution. 
While this is undoubtedly a limitation, it also underscores the intricacies and nuances involved in AI development. It's amazing how far we've come with these models, yet simple common-sense concepts still pose challenges. This highlights the ongoing need for research, innovation, and fine-tuning in the field of AI. The future will surely see these models become more efficient, versatile, and more adept at handling diverse reasoning tasks. As they evolve, one thing that's going to be interesting is figuring out their primary purpose. Will they be used primarily for complex tasks or simple everyday assistance? Thank you for joining me on this exploration of AI and its surprising limitations and potential. Now I'd like to hear from you. What do you think will be the primary role of advanced AI models like Orca in the future? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below.